Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is May the 9th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. For those of you who are new to this channel, the content on this channel are words of encouragement for the body of Christ regarding the end time days we are living in. These words are presented as they were received through spending time with the Lord and journaling. And for all of you who have been following my channel, welcome back. May all of you who hear this word today be encouraged that we are truly in the end times, which are times of difficulty, but also of great victory. This word today is another word that speaks of the Lord's coming, of the time when we as his people will be taken up to be with him. And so, though the events of the end times are many, this is one that is truly victorious for the body of Christ. Be blessed as you listen to this word today. This word is titled, The Day of Salvation. I'll begin by reading scripture. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 2. For he says, In the time of my favor I heard you, and in the day of salvation I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Soon a new thing will be made manifest in the earth. Those who have longed for the Lord's coming will rejoice greatly, for the Lord shall come and his reward shall be with him. Those who have faithfully sought him will find him, for he shall come and dwell among his people. The old shall pass away, and the new shall come. I am about to vindicate my elect, says the Lord, to snatch them up. Those looking on will marvel at this. They will be struck with awe as they see the clouds roll back and the elect rise to meet the Lord in the air. A triumphant procession shall march through the land, declaring the workings of God. The testimony of Jesus shall go forth into all the earth. Those who eat and drink of the table set before them will go forth with singing and dancing, and every enemy shall be crushed beneath their feet. They shall go out with great authority to reign and rule over the nations with Christ. They shall triumph over the accuser of the brethren and subdue the enemy with the testimony of Jesus. The wicked shall be cut off and the righteous shall inherit the land. Stand fast and do not waver, for the time is short and these things shall come to pass. I am releasing my authority into the lives of my servants in this hour, says the Lord. Great authority is being released, and an army is being put into place. Spiritual wickedness in high places is being brought down, and the righteous shall rise up to take the land by force. These are the words of life. Walk in them. Your children shall be great in the land. My waters shall be poured out over all the earth. Just as at the great deluge, the waters shall rise. The ark is prepared, and multitudes shall enter it. Do not fear. Do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed, for at the appointed time, your offspring shall enter in. 
My hand is upon them, my heart is for them, and not against them. I am about to go forth on their behalf, to take back ground in their lives the enemy has stolen. I will bind up the hands of those who would do evil against them. Every enemy hold will be broken off their lives. This is the day of the vengeance of God. Take hold of the rope that has been stretched out to you and climb up, says the Lord. The rope is hope. Do not let the enemy rob you of your joy. Hold on to that which you cannot see. Cling to that which is good. Open your eyes of understanding. Acknowledge that the Lord is good, that his mercies are new every morning. Do not lose hope, my people. Put your trust in me. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not be swayed by the speech of deceitful men who delight in themselves and are puffed up with the pride of life. But put your trust in me, and you will enter the land of milk and honey, the land where every need is provided for. The enemy prowls around and is bent on bringing confusion. Do not receive what he brings. Acknowledge the Lord and the promises of God toward those who love him and are called according to his purposes. Cling to that which is good and you will see the salvation of God in the lives of your children. The roots of bitterness will be plucked out of the hearts of men, the roots of hatred and striving pulled up. The soil is being ground up, and the roots are being loosened. When the roots are up and out, healing shall come quickly. And instead of bitterness and hardness, there shall be a softness, and a heart of compassion for those who are oppressed. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. A time is coming when those who sit on the outside will be thrust in. No longer will they observe and judge, but they shall be thrust in to undergo severe shaking, struggle, trial, and tribulation, and will be forced to surrender at the feet of Jesus. No longer will they mock the work of my spirit in my people, says the Lord, but they will be put to shame in the day in which I do these things. Those who have faithfully received of the work of the Spirit to purify the bride and have longed for clean hands and a pure heart will be given great authority in the realm of the Spirit. They shall be rewarded with much and put into position of great authority. To those who have, much will be given, but to those who have little, even that will be taken away and given to those who have been faithful, says the Lord. Put away fear and apprehension. And know that the Lord your God will vindicate you, that the enemy will not be able to steal away the work that I have done in you. I have built you on a firm foundation, and you will be able to stand through the test that is coming upon the earth. Everything that is will be judged by my spirit. If it is built in God, it will stand. If it is built on another foundation, it will fall. Get ready, for I am about to pour out my spirit in great waves of judgment to judge the works of man. Only those who have been building on the redemptive work of my spirit in this day will be able to stand. Rejoice, my people, for this is the day of your salvation. The nations shall be judged, 
and a reward is waiting for those who have been made ready to enter into the presence of the Son. Rejoice, for your King is coming, and his reward is with him, says the Lord. As I prepared to send this word forth this morning, I was drawn to the book of Revelation, and the Lord prompted me to read through the whole book. And as I read about the events of the end times, it was difficult for me to understand the order of events. The Lord is speaking about the rapture in this word, and he is telling us that a great turbulence is coming upon the earth and that he will test everything in existence to see whether it is built of God or not. He is bringing the naysayers through great tribulation, and they will be brought to a place of surrender at the Lord's feet. And so the Lord is speaking of a time when he will vindicate his elect and give them great authority in the earth. I confess I do not have a full understanding of the end time events, but in this word today, the Lord once again is reminding us that his coming is very soon, and it may be sooner than we think. Maybe most of the events spoken of in the book of Revelation are already taking place as the enemy does his dirty work in the world. But we can be confident the Lord will expose all those things that are hidden and the truth will come out. Those things that have confused us will become clear to us and we will begin to see the exact times we are living in and recognize that the rapture could happen at any time. But whether it is sooner or later, the Lord is telling us that this is the day of our salvation and for the reward for our faithfulness to trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope this word today is an encouragement to know that the times of trial and struggle and tribulation that we have been going through has been leading us on to that great day of his return. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord bless you and encourage you. May he strengthen you and give you hope. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.